A free speech survey is not free to proceed, at least not yet. The UW system backed off on sending it out to students this week after some pushback, including a resignation at UW Whitewater. That's right. The interim chancellor stepped down there. And now Will Keneally has a reaction from those on the UW Madison campus. Will? That's right. The UW system is going to send out the survey. Advocates want it to be done the right way. That means making sure that they're asking the right questions and getting input from the right people. We had very few, like a very little heads up, basically. Students learned a few days before it was supposed to go out that the UW system would be taking the community's temperature on free speech. Facing wide pushback, the UW system decided to delay the survey to the fall. UW system didn't communicate to us about it. It told people and we, we found out through a middleman, basically. Um, students were not heard, academic staff and faculty, we were not, vo we voiced our opinions and it was not heard. The survey comes during a tense climate of academic freedom and concerns that students with different political ideologies face discrimination. Republican Representative Dave Murphy supports the idea of the survey. I call it a customer service survey. Murphy chairs the Assembly Committee on Higher Ed. He says it makes sense to move forward without student input. You, you can't allow the subjects that are being researched to be able to do the questions. That, that doesn't make any sense. It's not scientific. But there are concerns over the survey itself. I like many parts of the survey. Uh, some questions, though, are problematic. That's Eric Sandgren, chair of the UW-Madison Faculty Senate. He says many students responding that they're uncomfortable may mean that the system is working. If the purpose of higher education is ex to expose you to the world, to conflicting points of view, to challenge your own preconceptions, then of course you will feel uncomfortable sometimes. The survey is postponed until at least this August. Sangren will be featured in this week's uh, For the Record segment. Tune in Sunday at 10.30 to hear more of our conversation.